Hey, you know, we're talking about uh, surrendering. I give up! I'm upset! I'm upset. Rock this. Hey guys, I'll tell you this scooters are. Hey, how are you? Cool dog. What is this, a pony? We are here on the Golden Gate Bridge. How they used to zoom cameras back in the old days, they go like this, they go. No. Yeah, just like that. No. They would do it just like that. You lying, Neil. You sit on a throne of lies. Man, that's good ride with you. Oh, you got a hit me on that thing? I think I got a hit me. Already started talking about living a life of surrender, which sounds crazy to some people, but it's not. You want to dive right into a scripture so we can get to this one? Absolutely. Let's look at Psalm, okay? Psalm 119. Yeah, it's a big old book, bro. You are good and the source of good. Train me in your goodness. If we will get close, that he'll show us his goodness. How close we gotta be? That close. Get as close as you can. So just like you would want to get close. The way you get to know God better is the same way you would a good friend. Spend time with them. You hang out together. You would figure out what their likes and dislikes are, all that stuff. Communicate, ask questions, uh, yeah. listen. Uh, the key to getting closer to God is to invite him into your life. And I know yep. that sounds obvious, but a lot of times we don't. And that's what surrendering really is about, of saying, yep. God, not only do you have access to my life, but I'm gonna surrender every part of my life so that you can have total access. Because we tend to give God a little bit of our lives. Little bit. Come on down, little bit. But he wants all of it. He wants a little bitty bit more, a bit more. He wants all of it. Yeah. God is going to become more real to you as we do things that strengthen our spirit. James 4, 8 says, come close to God and he will come close to you. Another translation of that says, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Yep. The key in that is it starts with you. It starts with Now, I know yep. a lot of people are like, well, I gotta get close to God. He already made the first move a yep. long time ago yep. when Jesus went to the cross and he laid everything down for us. That's a pretty big first pretty move. Pretty big move, yeah. What'd you do? Nothing. <laughs> James 4, 8 isn't just a scripture. Mm -hmm. It's a promise. If you if you put forth, if you come towards me, I'm gonna come towards you. Imagine that Tyler and I, we are going on a road trip together. And we're go we're going to take a trip to the Grand Canyon. I don't take my smartphone, I don't have money, I don't have anything that I need to get there. But I've got a friend, and his name is Tyler, and Tyler knows everything about the route. On the road, I know where all the potholes are, I know where the turning lanes are, I need I even know what cars are gonna come up and try to pass us along the route. I know where the cops are located. Whoa. Not that we would ever speak. So if Tyler knows no. all of those details about the route, wouldn't it be smart for me to say, hey, I wanna invite you on the road trip? That's that's the thing, oh. God wants to be in the driver's seat. Okay, this is what people think. I wanna be in the driver's seat. We're lost. That's how we react, but the truth is, how much better will the trip be if, if I let him drive? That's the dilemma, handing over the steering wheel or the control. I don't think you want to hand over the steering wheel. Here, what would Carrie like, Underwood do? Oh, I wanted to say it the whole time. The whole time. I wanted that one. That's the dilemma, is handing over control, and we don't want to do it. That's what living a life of surrender is, that God has way better for you than you could ever imagine, and he wants to help you on the road because he's got a purpose and a plan for your life, but a lot of times we want to hog the ball, yep. and we want to do our own thing. Yeah, to have that abundant life that God wants, you got to surrender to him. All right, so here's what we want you to ask yourself today. What areas of your life have you not surrendered to God? I'm going to pray for us. God, we wrestle with this because we know what your word says and we want to trust you but Lord sometimes we're holding on to every little part of our lives and we just don't want to give it up help us to surrender every part of us to you God because we love you in Jesus name amen amen that was good man amen I guess we're gonna get on our scoot scoots and get on the boot boots <laughs>